Hey guys, my name's Candice and welcome to my channel. Now guys, if you haven't already, I'm gonna need you to click that subscribe button down below and that thumbs up if you're liking what you're seeing. Okay guys, so I'm a bit awkward now because I'm outside the cinema, but basically I thought I'd take myself on a date and I'm really excited because I really wanted to go and see the Transformers. gosh i am coming to you right after watching the transformers do you know what really 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 enjoyed it that i would rate 10 out of 10 morning guys oh my gosh let me just clean my glasses for you oh my gosh guys i feel like every time i'm vlogging i'm wearing this jam dress but do you know what it is what it is oh, i've just seen my new car and it looks so freaking good um i don't even know where to leave is that a parking space okay i am picking up a new car and dropping this car off where should i leave any bay doesn't really matter yeah, or... right, yeah. okay it should be all right. yeah, the, the from those ones over there they're for electric charging okay perfect thank you so much okay let's go round um, this car park is so tight, but you know what? We're gonna make it work. Oh, I've got a big car like this. My car is so big compared to their their cars. Oh my gosh! You know, you don't want to hit your car. You don't want to scratch the car. Oh, perfect. Is that a space? Right, guys. I'm gonna come back to you guys once I'm in my new car. Um, oh, patience. It's been a bittersweet journey. But it's time. All good things come to an end. You know when you have to do your once over and make sure you've taken everything out of the car. Everything's out. All right, guys. I'll touch base after. Hey guys, I am back home. Apologies if you hear the fan in the background. I'm not going to talk for long. It's just, um, it's just so hot. Um, I'm really pushing to get a vlog out this week um, and I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit difficult just because I'm not feeling that great this week um, in health um, I'm going to talk about something transparent and I'm going to be honest like, it is a TMI video so if you're a man watching me maybe turn off now but if you're a woman um, maybe you'll understand now I don't know what's been going on with my body lately but ever since I've hit like 32 mid 32 my like periods have changed I'm on medication right now to slow my flow down because honestly guys I know this is TMI but maybe you'll understand if you're a woman imagine wearing a tampon and three pads and having to change every five minutes that's what I'm kind of dealing with I was like is this like menopause like I was like what the fuck is going on with me but I had a fibroid in my uterus, a fibroid, I always butcher it, I'll put the name, in my uterus when I was pregnant and basically I think it's grown. I've been feeling so fatigued, so tired and so drained and then obviously I've got this heavy, heavy, heavy flow. Then I have to go for an ultrasound next week, I have to do some blood work and I'm trying to push out a vlog but I'm so drained, like... I just feel like my energy just getting sucked out of me so I apologize if my energy is not all the best in this vlog it's just your girls just going through some health issues at the moment and as much as I want to be up and filming like today I got up and I was like okay I'm gonna take you guys um out with me shopping and I had to come back home like 10 minutes later because I was like I can't even be out because of the way I'm flowing like so yeah. I'm hope bowed. Um honest to God, I think I'm just gonna listen to my body and have a little nap. Like I don't know if you can see in my eyes, but it's just I'm so drained and I'm so tired. So hey guys, I'm writing this vlog. 
in the kitchen. I have just gotten back from the B&M and I was about to unpack my shopping and I thought, why not do an informal cleaning B&M haul? Because I went ham. I don't know why, but I love home bargains and B&M for cleaning products. And because I wanted to give my house a thorough clean, my house, excuse me, my house is tidy, it's not clean. When I mean tidy and not clean, my house is clean, it looks clean, but I haven't done a bleach in about a week and a half so I wanted to go out and get some new cleaning stuff now I'm going to flip the camera and show you a few things that I've got today from the B&M Wilco and just put you guys on you guys know my love for Wilco concerns and their products guys their air fresheners their fabric softeners and now they're washing up liquids now did I need washing up liquid no but did I buy two yes these are a pound each and oh my gosh they smell just like the fabric softeners. This one is called Yang and Freesia. And oh my gosh, I've never, I've never smelt, and I've tried a lot of, of washing up liquids, one that smells so sweet and so nice. Please, it's a pound and you get this huge 750 ml. So if you haven't tried any of Wilkinson's products, do it. It doesn't cost a lot and the smells are divine and long lasting. Um, and then the second flavour I got from Wilco was this Fuchsia and Akai Berry. This is really nice as well. I mean, oh my gosh, it smells like fabric softener. And if you love the smell of fabric softener, you'll love the smell of them. Now, there was a mango and papaya one that I really wanted to get. But I was like, Candice, you really don't need it. Because as I said, I had no business buying it. But... I can't resist a good smelling product. Um, and then now I'm going to show you the stuff I got from the B&M. But I'm going to flip the camera. Febreze Air Mist Air Freshener in Orange and Neroli. Guys, I absolutely love the smell of this. It's almost like a winter orange. Hi right, guys, I bought some domestic bleach for my bathroom. I've been using sprays for the bathroom. Well, it says bathroom cleaner. And it's just not been hitting like bleach. So I was like, yeah, we're going right back to Domestos. Because I just miss that bleach clean feel. This Lenore Happy. I absolutely adore this. It is a bit dare. When I mean dare, I mean, I wish they did these in like the massive, you know, like the five, six pound ones. This was 3 50 in the B&M and oh my gosh, it's so nice. It smells like the yellow comfort or the yellow Lenore, but just like in, enhanced. So yeah, I love that. And now that I'm hanging my clothes out, it just will smell lovely. So I was really fancy in dime and they didn't have the big packet. So I just bought this and this was like 125 I then bought some Lenore tumble dryer sheets in Pink Blossom. Shout out to Lenore for expanding their fragrance range. Sorry about that, guys. I then bought a Febreze infill. I only bought one because I wanted to see what it's like before I bought up loads for my house. So this was £3. Then bought some clothing line pegs because even though I have a dryer rack you know when it's a bit breezy you just want to have it a little bit gripped so I just bought that packet for £1.50 I then just bought some frazzles that was one twenty-five, and then I got a bit carried away and I had to put some back I bought the kind of fake scrub dabby, daddy the dishmatic I bought one of these before and I was super impressed um I love the fact that it's soft if it's hot, hard if it's cold. Um, and it was a pound, so I thought, yeah, I have to get that. Because I have, I had these adhesive sticks, stick to wall tiles. You know what you can get and stick it to your backsplash? And I don't know if you can see that, but all that adhesive was left. And no matter how I scrub it, it doesn't come off. So I thought, let me try it with one of these. And then I bought this um scrubber duck because i saw this before i saw the dishmatic one and it's the same price it's a pound and this is by air pure and i just thought it was cute and i thought you know one for the wall and just one for a rainy day i then bought the flash by carb of soda floor cleaner or is it bathroom cleaner i think it was um the Glade, you know, the refill Glades, and this was 350. So I was like, Yeah, we're gonna go for this. It was 350, and this flavor smells absolutely amazing. I don't know how to describe it, but if you're in there, just have a little whiff. I love this. This is my other favorite scent. Dryer just smells elite. So, so guys, oh my gosh, I bought this a few weeks ago, and I love it. It literally smells like Infocare, or is it Infocol? 
I think it's Infocare bath for baby bath liquid and I thought I love it so much I have to get it again and all the shops I went to today did not have this so I was like yeah it must be popular because it's sold out but I did find in the B&M they had the um scent boosters and I'm not really a scent booster sort of gal but I had to because I loved it so much so that was literally all I got from the B&M I spent like 35 pounds and I'm really happy with everything I really am guys I forgot to show you I got these storage containers um from the B&M now these ones were the priciest ones because they're the biggest ones these were eight pounds now I'm not gonna lie guys today I'm gonna try and do as much as I can while my daughter's at school. Now, first things first, I need a pedicure. I have been putting off a pedicure for the longest time because my feet is really bad. I have not got my feet done in so long. And I haven't got bad feet, but I do get dry skin. And I think when you get your feet done often, it just grows back at the back. And I thought, oh my God, like, it's just long. So I said to myself, do you know what? We're going to the nail shop. Now, I did paint my nails, but I'm tempted to get them done. Do you know what? I'm one of these girls that because I'm always doing DIYs, cleaning, all of that, there's just no point for me wearing males and I get bored really easily. That's why I don't do that and I don't wear like fake hair. But I'm in my soft girl era and I'm ready to like, you know, be the bitch I am. Hey guys, I am across the road. The shop is empty, which is what I want. So I'm really happy about that because I ain't going to lie guys. When you haven't had a pedicure in a while, it can be a real humbling experience. Guys, I got my nails done yesterday and these are the worst nails I think I've ever got and the most I've paid. I paid £55 for nails that basically look like freaking press-ons. This is why when you have a nail shop, you just tend to stick to the ones you know. Like, they're not even straight. So, <laughs> last night, this was bugging me so much because, excuse that nail polish, because it was just looking so ugly that I just decided to paint it. Yes, I did pay extra for the French, but I was like, Do you know what? It looks bad, but at least with this colour, it could just look like, I just find it looks a little bit better. Guys, I've given in. Look how horrible these are. Every minute I look at it, I'm disgusted. So I've decided to cut them low. And that, you cannot tell me that doesn't look much better. And I haven't done the thumb yet, but that doesn't look much better than this. What are these? I know it looks like a lot but when you have a child that's autistic and very fussy you need to give her selection so pepperoni chicken she's never tried this but it looks nice um i saw these in their home bargains and i thought this was so cute it's like a little baby bell with some like apples and grapes um, mccoy's crisp lunchable that she probably won't eat but just in case she wants some like cheese or ham or crackers a yogurt and a Capri Sun and then followed by her new fave thing at the moment I put it on that so I can get hard uh, McVitie's gold yes, what do you think do you think this looks a bit too dressy up to go up lakeside it's just this denim skirt and then this top I got from Primark I don't know if it was last year or the year before it's just got these little tassels I think it looks okay but my guys after about three outfit checks I've just gone with my plain and simple Matalan jersey dress which I live in and I absolutely love paired it with some gold sandals from Primark about two years ago and then I got this Shein kind of side bag just for a little pop of colour 
and that's basically it hey guys you okay i don't know if this is sh too shaky so apologies i don't know why but like every time i use this one it's just really shaky and my other tripod it's gotten a bit loose and i can't find a replacement for it gosh guys that was a successful trip now i didn't even look in primark because i was like i'm not impressed but matalan matalan never disappoints it never disappoints now i am going to do a haul when i get back home for you guys and i did try on these outfits in the changing room so i'll insert the clips um in the haul as well and i'll probably make it a separate video because i ain't gonna lie like matalan the real MVP. Let's go and peek in TK Maxx. This is the thing with me. Like I say, I'm not going to spend, and then I spend. I have some really cute graphic tees. Carry it away. Excuse me. I'm telling you, as start are doing bits would be nice for like a wedding 28 pounds you can't tell me as does not carry in the summer look at this super cute and this i might have to try that one on guys i'm in a great mood i have had a great shopping day better than i should have this thing has just happened to me so basically i am about to go onto a13 at the lakeside flyover and there's been an accident to where they closed the road now i think they've moved the car because we're moving now and we were just standstill but i have anxiety because this happened to me once and i was like three hours late to pick up my daughter and i have an hour and th yeah an hour and 15 minutes to get there gosh guys after having such a great day there's been a massive accident on the a13 to where the whole road is they've the police have closed the whole a13 with us on it so you've got people literally walking up and down the motorway you can see them walking behind you've got ambulance service you've got people literally backing up like I, I, I just I don't know what the fuck is actually going on today guys I'm panicking I'm panicking honestly there's no I am very punctual I can't you can't even see me I'm a very punctual person I'm always early for pickups obviously it's out of my control but you know when you're a single parent and you you're the only person who can pick your daughter up and you can't i mean i don't even know what to do with myself i'm stressing the fuck out oh what a good thing i bought myself a drink and freaking food i can't even eat because i'm so stressed i just don't know and i could go around a different way but there's traffic every single way you want to look so it's like i don't even think i could get home that way oh my gosh guys it has been two hours since i've spoken to you guys the police turned us around on the motorway i'm now on a diversion that says i'm 40 minutes away but i'm still in traffic i've broken out i'm stressed i'm looking like i'm just looking like how i feel <sighs> everyone's supportive but i'm just panicking because i know my daughter she'll be getting worried and not just that i'm just like stressed because i know the school's thinking like Hopefully she gets there soon because school's literally just finished now, four o'clock. So I'm just hoping I get there in the next half an hour so it's not too bad because I don't know what to do. I'm not even in control and that's the hardest thing, like being not in control. I am pooped. I have broken out. 
I ain't gonna lie. I used um I went back to Primark makeup after using um what do you call it? MAC. And ever since I've gone back to Primark, my skin Oh my god, is that a, look look how it's broken out. This was an air this morning. Obviously, yeah, I was stressed, but I'm just gonna wipe this off. I think I'm gonna like do a face treatment today. I think I'm gonna take this off, do a face mask, have a bath. I think I'm gonna like stop vlogging for the rest of today because your girl is worn out. I've got a migraine that's like above this eye and in there. I just feel tired. Like the stress I was under to get my daughter. <laughs> and I know they said it was fine, but you know, like I sat down in traffic for two hours and then I started to panic when it hit four o'clock because I was like, shit. And then the man came up to my car and was like, they're not opening it up until later on tonight. And I was like, what? And then the police said to me, yeah, we're not opening it up to at least seven, eight o'clock tonight. And I started to panic. So I was like, thank God I was able to go to a diversion because, oh, even now I'm talking to you guys. I just want to have my eyes closed. I have an amazing haul that I'm going to do tomorrow. There's the stuff I got. Oh, Asda George is just 10 out of 10. I'm going to go online a bit later and just put some stuff in the basket because I'm sorry. I found so much stuff that's my actual style in there and um, and Matalan. And I just, as I said, I went to Primark today, but I didn't even look because I'm just going to be honest, guys. Like, I'm over Primark. I'm not a Primark girl anymore. It's okay for the odd little, odd little bits of pyjamas and underwear, but it's just not my style anymore. So after two weeks of heat wave, can you hear that? It's pouring. But that's not the bad thing. The bad thing is, I literally, I'm in flip flops. <laughs> it's parents evening and I, and I saw it drizzling before I left the house, but I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm not even gonna bother change my shoes because I'm just gonna literally get off the bus, put it in the car and go into the school. I'm gonna make it work because I ain't going home to change my shoes just just for parents evening but yeah we've got we've got to be there in like 20 minutes so i'm probably gonna get something to eat first so i am currently outside my daughter's school we have parents evening i've already got a report she's done amazing so it's just the time of year that we can get into kind of discuss with her teachers what the progress is but you've been a superstar haven't you yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my makeup. I'm just looking so pretty today. Oh my gosh. Hi guys. Um, I'm literally in the pitch black, so you probably ain't going to see me. I've only got my TV light on. But I was just sitting here, like, just going through. Oh, is it, does it want to shine on me? There we go. I was just sitting there going through some footage, and I thought, you know what? Today, when I did my hair, like, my hair, I told you, like, I was... After my accident last year, I was diagnosed with PTSD and I lost a lot of hair because of the stress. And I had such full, beautiful hair. I'll insert a picture. And it's just literally nothing now. Like half my head's gone. And I'm just like, it's time. So I think I'm going to book a hairdresser appointment tomorrow and get it cut into like a short little crop little bob um i love being a blonde i don't know if i want to be a blonde because it's too damaging to my hair um even though i love being a plat platinum blonde time to restart the grow growing process again i might get my hair cut into a style dye it and then after like my birthday start growing it out like no chemicals no heat i just think it doesn't matter how healthy your heart your hair is as long as you relax your hair it's just gonna damage it and i worked in two years my hair was the longest it's ever been in my life the fullest the softest and i fucked it up by relaxing it and then obviously the stress and like now i just regret it so now i'm just like you know what when it gets to that stage where i can't manage it 
I'm just going to be putting it into braids and weave. I'm, it is expensive, but I'm ready to, I'm ready to embrace that life now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to probably go and get this cut because I'm just so over it. I don't even know. There's a few styles I want, but I don't know if I want to do it for the summer. But I'm actually excited to cut it off. Like there was a time I would just stand in front of the mirror and just chop my hair off. I want to do that, but I'm just like, I want to do it into a style rather than just do it myself. So yeah, just had night notes and I thought I'd just share. 